Yo, what's going on, guys? We are live on the Instagram and on Facebook. Um, so we're going to be talking about how we're going to be crushing our New Year's and then just how we're going to be setting attainable goals. All right. So uh, while people come in, uh, are coming in, I'm going to tag some people on here um, so we can crush our New Year's together. All right. Um, so just give me a minute. How's uh how's everybody's new year? How's how's everything going? Did you guys have a good new year? Cool, cool, cool. What's up? What's up? All right, guys, we're just gonna I'm just gonna finish uh tagging some people. Um and then we're going to get started on um how we're going to be crushing this 2020, right? This new decade. So um, if you guys see me looking back and forth, if you just joined, I'm uh, I'm on the Instagrams and I'm on the Facebooks. So um, yeah, we're going to just hop right into it. I'm uh, I think I've done I'm done tagging some people. Actually, let's tag a few more. Let's just tag a few more just for the hell of it. All right, all right. Cool, guys. So we're going to talk about our New Year's, how we're going to be crushing our New Year's. Um, and um, let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So, uh, Aaron, what's up, man? Nepotism. What's going on? Jerry, what's up, brother? So, guys, we're going to talk about how we're going to be crushing our New Year's, how, how we're going to actually uh, just make our New Year's resolutions, right? Make our New Year's resolutions reality okay and um uh, jerry what's up brother miana what's going on so um guys i'm not a big proponent of like if you guys follow me on instagram you'll see that that meme describes me perfectly like i kind of like clown about people that set um set new year's resolutions but it's also me because it, it is a great time to reflect guys and it is a great time to um it is a great time just to 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 go back and think of like why you did not achieve what you were supposed to achieve, right? Okay, so um, this is usually what happens. This is usually what we hear when we are going through um, our thought process of New Year's resolutions, right? And this, uh, and this is something that you might be saying or you might have said to yourself already. So don't feel like I'm attacking you because everybody's done this, including myself, all right? So one thing is like, hey, I want to feel better right? Of course, who doesn't want to feel better, right? Who, who, who here would want to feel like shit, right? So you want to feel better, right? That, that's the first thing. So, and guys, if, again, if you continue seeing me move back and forth, it's because we're talking on Facebook and we're talking on, on uh, Instagram. Joanna, what's up? Um, so guys, so like, I want to feel better, right? That's something that you'll say, right? Another thing that people will say is that they want to lose weight, right? Or they want to get stronger, um, or they want to lose 20 pounds, right? Um, but you know, those are great. And that stuff sounds great when you're saying it out loud. But um, it's not an actual like, it's not a it's not a hard set goal, right? Um, usually what happens when you say this stuff is you're going to start going crazy, right? You start going crazy in the gym. You're like, new year, new me, this is it. This is the year that I'm putting all the bullshit aside and I'm gonna do it. And this is the year where I'm, I'm not failing no matter what, right? So you go super crazy in the gym, you go with whatever like nutrition and or diet plan that you know of, right? Or that you've maybe have done in the past. Um, and then you start dropping weight like crazy, you start feeling stronger. And then what happens after that is that you burn out, right? You burn out right after that. So. Um, you know, again, this stuff, this stuff sounds awesome on like uh, fitness quotes and this stuff sounds good on like, on like memes and whatnot, or, or yeah, more fitness quotes than anything. But, um, these are not actual like hard attainable goals. Okay. So, um, and, and think about this guys, think about how much that fucks with your head every single time that you go into the new year or you go into a new like program or a plan and and that you just don't finish with it, right? You say like, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, I'm gonna get stronger, and then you just, you never finish with that. Imagine how that fucks with your head, that every time you promise yourself a goal and you fail at it, 
like imagine how how much that messes with you right lost my thought process there for a second so usually what happens when you continue failing over and over and over because you're not setting yourself some hard attainable goals um is you usually it usually leads to self sabotage right so uh, if you're on the facebooks if you're on instagram uh you know put some hands up or, or a fire emoji if you've done that before uh you know if that sounds like you like you've came to a new year you you're, you're starting to hop on a new plan and then all of a sudden you're just like you know you go ham in the beginning and then you start falling off right that usually leads to self-sabotage right so um what we want to do is the exact opposite right imagine being able to like finally reach your goals imagine how that would make you feel right that's you right jerry <laughs> Uh, so uh, imagine how that would make you feel as far as like every time you set a goal, you actually attain it instead of just like saying it and throwing it out there in the universe and, you know, hoping that the, that the universe hears us, right? Imagine actually being able to reach your goal. How would that make you feel? Think of um, not, not so much how that would make you feel physically, but how mentally, how much better that would make you feel because... Like imagine going into the the next year, right, into twenty twenty one, knowing that what you did, uh, that you did actually what you actually said you were going to be doing. That would feel amazing, right? Instead of like, oh man, every time I every time I set this New Year's goal, I fall off, and and no matter what I do, like maybe this workout thing isn't for me, or maybe this fat loss thing isn't for me, or I'm destined to um to not be strong, or or it's just it's my genetics, right? So we got to stop making excuses for genetics and the and I'm going to tell you exactly um, how we're going to be able to attain this right now, right? So imagine again, like going into 2021, despite challenges, despite uh, obstacles, despite like just shit that's going to come up in your life day to day. Um, imagine, um, you know, wouldn't it feel amazing uh, that you actually set a goal and achieved it? That would feel so much, you know, you'd be feeling so much better about yourself um, being, you know, not being a statistic and not being the typical, like, New Year's resolutioners, right? There's some, like, crazy statistic out there that says, like, I don't know, like, 95% of New Year's resolutioners fall off by, like, mid-February or something like that, right? Um, so, like, who here would want that, right? Who here would want that? Put a hand up or a fire emoji if, um, that would feel amazing to be able to actually, um, raise you know be actually be able to set a new year's goal mark Luis, what's up man what's up guys um actually be able to uh set a goal and be able to attain it right right joanna knows what i'm talking about so guys this actually reminds me of uh hector hector was a, a client of mine um uh we actually first started working out together because he wanted to to feel better right like we all want to feel better and again, guys, if you guys are just joining, we're hopping on Facebook, Instagram. So that's why you see me looking back and forth. Um, that made me dizzy doing that. Um, so, uh, so guys, like this reminds me of Hector. Um, Hector, actually, uh, when, we, when we first started working out with Hector, um, he was like my typical male client. Mo, what's up, man? He was my typical male client. He wanted to just feel better, right? And, um, you know, he's like, I know how to work out. I just need a plan. But what he was actually doing is he was like killing himself in the weight room. Um, and he was doing cardio about six days a week. This guy, he's a soccer player. So like, you know, soccer players like cardio, everything. They, they go ham on everything. So um, with Hector, what we did with him to get him starting to feel better is we um, took down his gym time, took down his cardio time. We got him working out four days a week. We got him on a structured program instead of just like going into the weight room trying to feel better or or just work out and get a sweat just to um just to walk out sweaty and feel better right because let's be honest with ourselves like we could all step into the gym kill ourselves on the treadmill or the stairmaster or whatever it is and walk out and feel amazing right because like you just got the endorphins running you got sweat going down and you're like cool i feel amazing right um so like uh with hector what we did is we got him working out four days a week we got him starting at uh, three days of cardio, um, and in the process, Hector lost over 20 pounds of fat. He looks uh, way leaner now. He looks shredded. He finally uh, was able to see his abs that he thought he would never be able to see, 
And more importantly, guys, that he's been able to sustain this for years now instead of just like, uh, you know, just hopping on a quick like six week program or eight week program or like some detox tea or something like that um, and, and falling completely off. Right. So with Hector, he was able to not only lose the 20 pounds of fat, he was able to keep the 20 pounds of fat off. Rio, what's up, man? Renee, Mo, what's up? Um, so like who here would love that? Who here would n love to not burn themselves out? Like be able to actually like exercise less, not do cardio six days a week and be able to lose that unwanted fat and be able to, he was able to change his life forever, guys, not just in this short amount of time, right? Um, so, so here we go. And here's how you're actually going to be doing this, guys. Um, one is uh, with your nutrition, you have to not go crazy and you have to not burn yourself out, right? Because every time you burn yourself out with nutrition, like people start cutting everything out of their diet. They're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have no soda, no carbs, no bread. Um, but instead, you know, that'll work for a little bit. And if you could put your hand up uh, or comment below if you've done that, um, but that'll happen. And, uh, sorry, not that'll happen. That'll, uh, you'll be doing that for a little bit and it'll work and you'll start feeling amazing. Um, but what ends up happening instead of, instead of what I want you guys doing, instead of like just completely cutting stuff out is start limiting your foods. All right. So don't eliminate all your cravings. Cause what'll happen when you just like completely cut everything out and you start, um, eliminating foods, like for example, um, I love cookies, right? So if I were to completely cut out cookies out of my nutrition plan, what's going to happen when I actually do go back to it? Because it's, it, because it is going to happen, right? And we've all done that. We, we could all say that like, oh, I, I'm just going to go cold turkey and that works for a little bit. But what's going to happen when you stop going cold turkey? What's going to happen when you um, actually um, see that cookie and then like, you know, you get triggered and you don't know what to do. You're going to, you're going to start going crazy. You're going to start binging on that food. So instead of eliminating all your cravings, um, you know, like for example, if you're going to be eating, if you normally eat a whole pizza, I want you to eat half of the pizza. All right. So just start eliminating cravings little or sorry, start, um, start, um, enjoying your cravings little by little instead of eliminating them completely, right? And if, then also, if there's no pineapples on the pizza, then you could just throw that whole pizza away, all right? So if you don't like pineapples on pizza, you could get off this this uh, Facebook or Instagram Live right now. Uh, no, but seriously, guys, um, don't go crazy, but start limiting your foods, not eliminating all your cravings, okay? Um, so little these little changes over time make a huge difference. Uh, step two that you have to do, uh, Luke, what's up, man? Uh, step two that you have to do is you have to stop setting re unrealistic uh, expectations, right? So if you're only going to the gym like two days a week right now, it's all it's going to be impossible and you're just setting yourself up for failure if you tell yourself that you're going to go six days a week, right? And what will happen is, again, just like we've discussed with the nutrition before, is you'll start going six days a week. You'll start doing it for two, maybe three weeks straight. And then eventually you're going to fall off and you're going to be like that statistic that I said, you're going to be one of those 95 percenters that uh, end up falling off of their nutrition uh, within like by mid February. Right. So uh, stop setting unrealistic expectations. All right. So uh, stick with something that, you know, you can consistently do. All right. If your work schedule is absolutely crazy right now and you could only make it to the gym three days a week. Just make it to the gym those three days and absolutely kill it while you're in there, right? Because that's the only time that you have. Um, and then uh, lastly, guys, and you always hear me discuss this, is to have an accountability partner, all right? So again, um, you need someone that's going to push you, that's going to call you out on your bullshit uh, when you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So that could be a friend, Right. That could be um, that could be a an acquaintance, someone you meet at the gym. You could, that could be your gym partner. Um, that could be your significant other. All right. But before I tell you about the significant other, I'm not liable for anybody that gets in fights with their significant other. Uh, if you choose them to be your accountability partner. Right. Um, so, yeah, guys, it's just very important to 
have an accountability partner, whether it's somebody that you know is going to um, show up when you don't show up, um, somebody that is going to call you out on your bullshit, and somebody that's uh, that actually cares about you, all right? So um, you're not going to... Uh, you know, having an accountability partner that doesn't care about you is not going to get you anywhere, right? So those three things, guys. So again, the, the lesson is this. Nutrition, we don't go crazy. Uh, we don't eliminate all of our cravings. We don't eliminate all of our foods, but we start limiting foods little by little, okay? So if you're currently eating a full topper's pizza, I want you to go with a half of a topper's pizza, all right? So that's number one. Uh, number two is going to be our training, all right? Stop setting unrealistic expectations, if you're currently only going to the gym two days a week, you are not going to be able to make it six days a week to the gym, all right? Set realistic expectations, all right? And then by doing this, we can go back to what we originally talked about in the beginning, right? So you want to feel better. You're going to feel better by starting to go to the gym consistently. You're going to be able to lose the weight. You're going to be able to lose 20 pounds by, uh, by going consistently. Happy New Year, guys, uh, by going in there consistently and um, and making those changes to your nutrition. Uh, limiting, not eliminating. And then thirdly, and most importantly, is to have an accountability partner, a coach like myself, um, or a friend, significant other, somebody that's going to call you out on your bullshit when you are not making it to the gym, when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right, guys? So if you have any questions, uh, we got... About, I got about five minutes, so if you have any questions uh, right now about this topic that we just discussed or anything else, right now is the time to bring it up. Um, hope you guys had an amazing new year yesterday. Hope, looks like everyone is safe, hopefully, in here. Um, but yeah, guys, right now is the time to bring up questions, whether you're on Instagram, whether you're on Facebook. Uh, right now is the time to bring it up. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's it. So so training, don't go crazy. Uh Limit, don't eliminate. Or sorry, nutrition. Limit, don't eliminate. Uh, training, set realistic expectations. All right, and have an accountability partner. All right, guys. So those are the three main tips that you're going to be doing in 2020 in order to reach your goals. And I know it sounds cheesy, right, guys? Um, that that you know it's a, it's a new goal again. Again, I'm not I'm not the guy that that tells you to wait for a certain time period, but. It's already here, it's January 1st, and it's time to build momentum into this new year and actually reach our goals, all right, guys? So stop messing with your own head. Stop saying that you're going to uh, just lose 20 pounds. Now we have actual actionable steps um, so we don't sabotage ourselves, all right, guys? So if you have any questions, pop them right now in the comments. If not, we're gonna be logging out in the next 30 seconds, all right? So I'm gonna scroll through these uh, these comments on here, see if anyone has questions. Jerry, Jerry, what's up? Mark, oh, a couple people snuck in here. I didn't even see. Cool, Jonathan, what's up? All right, guys, any questions before we uh, log out? Cheesy like Cheetos, but Cheetos are good, so good tips, thanks. <laughs> Especially if they're hot Cheetos, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining my live. I really appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing uh, New Year's. Let's kill it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out personally. You could um, DM me personally, uh, or you could just type something in the comments. And if you're watching on the replay, put hashtag replay. I don't think you could do it on Instagram. But if you're doing it, if you're watching the replay on Facebook, just put hashtag replay. Um, and that's it, guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.